Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game preview. And today's card game up on the tabletop is called Bad Guy Nonsense by ST and N Games. It plays two to four players, ages eight and up, and takes about 20 minutes to play. And in the game Bad Guy Nonsense, you're playing as a bounty hunter collective of sorts, and you're competing as basically this evil monster has warped this nonsense matter all across the cosmos and turned a bunch of bad guys and uh, witches and heroes and all sorts into infected and you need to go out and capture them or use their powers to help capture monsters and the game is going to be played fairly simply you're going to take six cards from the deck play one of three actions attempting to capture monsters playing special cards or discarding and drawing cards giving yourself back up to six and at the end of the game when the deck runs out you're going to tally up all the points in front of you play any more cards that will allow you to capture monsters in your hand score negatively for the cards that you couldn't capture and then gain bonus points for nonsense cards in your hand. The player who has the most points is the winner. A pretty simple, pretty quick and easy to learn game. Let's take it down below. I will show you how to play and then I'll come up and give you my uh, preview of the game. Here we have the game Bad Guy Nonsense, and as you see, the game is going to come with a box to hold all the oversized cards, which are here, as well as a scan code for the rules to the game, and a checklist to show you all the different cards in the box. Additionally, there's also a rule set of cards, which will tell you uh, in numerical order how to play the game, and it's very, very simple, like I explained before. The first thing you're going to do is shuffle this deck and then deal out six cards to each player. And you just go ahead and deal them out like you normally would deal out cards. Then go ahead and set the deck aside. Afterwards, you're then going to go ahead and play one of three different actions. And the actions are described on this specific card here. Capturing a bad guy, discarding a card, or playing a special card. Afterwards, you're then going to draw back up to six cards from the deck here. Now, on your turn, if you want to try and capture a bad guy, you're gonna to have to have a bad guy in hand. And a bad guy is gonna look like this. Bad guys are simply going to have the title bad guy, their name, flavor text, art, and the lock symbol. This is to indicate what you need in order to capture a bad guy. And there are four different ways to capture a bad guy, which we'll go into right now. Poof, so here we are. And as you can see, we're trying to defeat Kung Fu Tusks here. He's got a lock of yellow four. And if you want to capture in the basic way, you simply will have a lock yellow four in your hand. You'll play both of these cards, putting the bad guy on top and place the bad guy in front of you along with the lock. That is going to basically give you four points at the end of the game, provided this card stays in front of you throughout the entire game up until the ending. If you don't have a lock value of four, another way you can lock a bad guy is simply to have two locks of two different colors. And as long as one of those locks is the bad guy's color, which is yellow. So as you see, we have a three yellow here. You're going to add the total sum of both locks, which is four, three and one. And that will combine to allow you to basically capture the bad guy. The third way you can go ahead and capture a bad guy is probably the easiest, but most difficult to have because there's so many, there's so few of them, but it's a bounty hunter. Bounty hunters can capture a bad guy and go ahead and place this right underneath the bad guy, and that will allow you to capture a bad guy as well. And then finally, the last way to capture a bad guy is simply to have both bad guys of the same type. If you have both bad guys, you can go ahead and play them in front of you just like this as a pair, and that will allow you to capture a bad guy, but it only counts for four points at the end of the game and those are the four ways to capture a bad guy if you didn't want to or can't capture a bad guy another action you can take is to discard a card and that's fairly simple you can go ahead and look at your hand determine what you don't want discard that card and then draw a new one from the deck whenever you replenish cards at the end of the turn you're always going to replenish up to six and when you replenish you can choose to draw from the discard pile or from the top of the deck. The next and final action is where you're going to basically play a action card from your hand and it will do certain things. A hero can be played on top of a captured bad guy to protect them from being stolen or destroyed. A bandit can basically swipe a random card from a player's hand. A burglar is able to swipe a bad guy's capture. A monster can eat a capture. A witch can take a card from the discard pile. And those are the main actions in the game. The last thing, of course, is at the end of the game, if you have any non 
nonsense cards in your hand, you'll score points. And basically how it works is once this deck runs out and everybody has cards in front of them, add up all the lock values in front of you, any monsters or, that you, or bad guys that you can capture at the end of the game, you can go ahead and do so regardless of how many actions you have. And then tally up your points, plus any nonsense in your card, nonsense cards in your hand, minus any bad guys that you couldn't capture, and plus any bad guys in front of you. The player with the most points is the winner of the game, Bad Guy Nonsense. Okay, let's go up and talk about the game. So Bad Guy Nonsense is a family card game for two to four players. It is rather quick. It takes anywhere from five to 20 minutes, depending on how experienced and or strategic players want to be in that specific game. There are many ways to capture bad guys, and there are no specific appropriate ways that you should go about doing it. In my opinion, the strategy just comes into what cards you have in your hand and when you can use them and what the best card to play is on your turn. Being able to draw from the discard pile is nice because it does keep the game going a little longer if you need it to, but in general, it's not always gonna be the best option, specifically because usually when players want to draw from the discard player, player, player pile, you can't because you have six cards in your hand and you're forced to discard and then draw, right? So if you have a bunch of locks in your hand and you discard a card, you're not going to then be able to simply discard that lock and draw from the discard pile because you'll just get that same card back and you want a new card that's going to actually help you in some way to give you points throughout the game. It feels a little bit like Rummy, it's got a little bit of the older classic style card game aspects to it in which you're trying to gather pairs or trying to add lock combinations or use your special cards in some unique way. The witch card, there's only one of them, is very special. It allows you to take a card from the discard pile which might let you get a different action but at the same time playing that card takes away a turn and in a four player game, the game is so quick that if you do do that, you may not actually get to have another turn come back to you, in which case you lost an opportunity to be able to capture a bad guy. Capturing bad guys that are higher value is obviously better than lower value, and you're always trying to make the best choices you possibly can as you simply go throughout the game of bad guy nonsense. Collecting bad guy nonsense cards are great. They hold up space in your hand, so you kind of don't want to have them, but also getting rid of them is going to cost you an action and make you go ahead and draw and discard or discard and draw a card. So do you want to go ahead and do that? I don't know. That's up to you. But personally, I like to keep those cards as I get them because the game ends so quickly. I prefer playing this game with more players, but it plays just fine with two or three players as well. We play this game countless times, multiple times over the course of the night. And as we played it, we had a bunch of different responses, but it came down to mainly it's a specific style, slightly take that, slightly set management card game in which players are just trying to get all the bad guys they possibly can. If you enjoy this game or think it might be of something that you'd be interested in, go ahead and take a look down below. It's on Kickstarter where you can go ahead and pick it up. There's going to be uh, a bunch of different artwork you can go ahead and take a look at. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of like comic style art, but it's also like hilarious style art. Bad guys disappear before they arrive, riding giant seahorses with pet ban bananas by their side. And so it's just kind of weird, crazy art where you don't expect it to have like nonsensical artwork style, but of course it's bad guy nonsense, so it's going to have that. Regardless though, if you're interested, take a look down below, currently on Kickstarter, bad guy nonsense. All right, outro. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game and or card game review. If you're interested in the game, down below is where you go. Link in the description, it'll be on Kickstarter or retail, depending on when you're watching this video. Also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. The current giveaway is Chartered the Golden Age, which plays a lot like a choir. Every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST, we do a live giveaway, as well as play a bunch of games just like this one down below. And in fact, we might even play this one this Wednesday because it's so quick and easy to learn and it's something the audience can get into and see how we kind of combat each other in this bad guy nonsense world all right guys we appreciate you guys watching thank you so much if you want to go ahead and hit the like button up there a subscribe like button this is not facebook oh wait no we do have a like button it's on youtube there's there's a like button hit that hit the subscribe push the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this one as well as our walkthroughs and playthroughs that we've been doing and Callie's Corner which will also be coming out this week another interesting take on the new games in the board gaming world they have different mechanical videos etc etc and you can go and check that out all right guys thank you so much and as always I look forward to battling bad guy nonsense with you next time